I made it back to my room. And you can see my face for an extended period of time. That may be a good thing. Sorry about the last couple of videos. I got a little bit busy. Not overwhelmingly busy, just busy enough that I wasn't here long enough to make a normal vlog type video. Also, I didn't make my bed. I usually try to do that, or at least make it look like I tried to do that before filming these. Not today. Nope. We're going bed unmade, stuff laying on the chair, all natural. That, wait, that's not what that means? Okay, whatever then. Anyways, I thought I'd give you a couple of book recommendations today because video ideas, man. So the first one that I'll recommend to you is a book called Still Alice, which I just finished a couple of weeks ago. And it's just a story of this woman, Alice, obviously, who is kind of quickly descending into early onset Alzheimer's disease. It's just really well written and like I rarely move through a book as quickly as I move through this one. I am not the person who like sits and reads a book straight through, I have to take breaks. Like, I didn't even do it with Harry Potter. And while I didn't do it with this one either, I didn't read it in like a 24 hour period, but I did read it much quicker than I would normally read a book. It's just, it's really well written and it's super tragic and heartbreaking, but also just, just really, really good. And there are amazing quotes that you're going to want to keep forever in your brain. The next one, is called I Am The Universe by Barbara K K Corin, I guess. It's technically written for like middle schoolers, but it's really good. I got it at a library book sale for a quarter because when books are a quarter you buy them. And it's basically about this eighth grade girl whose mother is battling cancer and at the same time she's going through normal eighth grade stuff. It's a really quick one, like the print is pretty big and it's short and it's written for middle schoolers, so you get through it really fast. It's super good, the characters are well developed, and I just really like it a lot. The final one I'll recommend to you today is called A Million Little Mistakes, and it's a choose-your-own-adventure book. I love choose-your-own-adventure books, they're so interesting because you can just read them over and over again, and you never get the same story because there are just too many options to ever get the same story. The author of this one also has at least one other Choose Your Own Adventure book out there. It's by Heather McCallaghan. With a lot of Choose Your Own Adventure books, they serve the purpose of light entertainment, but they don't really go any farther than that. This one has actually like really good quotes, and the storylines are really interesting. It kind of takes you to different extremes and you can explore possibilities like you can in life except not actually exploring them. So that's fun. So those are my book recommendations to you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!